Hi, my name is Hugo Ortega from the Uber Tablet Blog. Today I wanted to sit down with the Samsung Q1 and the EO Tablet Kiosk Ultra Mobile PC. Currently in Australia, we've only got the EO available. Samsung has decided not to ship it here. Um, but that should change in the next few weeks or months. Um, so I wanted to give you a close look at what is an Ultra Mobile PC and what it can do for you. Let's have a closer look. From the outside, both seem fairly similar in weight, although the EO does tend to have a slight, um, slightly heavier feel. Um, one thing you notice up front is the ergonomics. Uh, EO with its rounded edges and, uh, and, and Samsung with its more ergonomic, I guess, uh, PSP type edges. Um, definitely a little funkier looking, the Q1. Um, but they both fit in the palm of my hand. Um, they're designed to be portable uh, and they're designed as the name uh, alludes to, uh, be mobile. Um, but let's look at what truly makes them mobile. When you look at the, uh, the uh, EO, what you've got is a 7 inch touchscreen with a 1 gigahertz VIA processor. Now for those of you that are not familiar, uh, the VIA is not an Intel based processor. Uh, it's, a, it's a totally different processor. Uh, it, uh, it runs quite well on this machine. Um, one thing that surprised you when you first grab these devices is just how fast they do run. Um, within the confines of this device, you've got two USB ports, you've got audio, microphone, which is a microphone and audio, so you can plug in those uh, mobile phone style earpieces, so microphone and earpiece in one, and do your conference calling on Skype and so on. It's also got wireless on and off as a switch. There's your CPU fan, there's your AC. Um, one thing that, that I do like about the Samsung is the fact that the AC plug is found at the bottom, whereas on the EO, the AC is found at the top. Now, when I'm having them lean up lean on my desk, the plug at the top does seem to get in the way. When you look at the operation of these devices, the EO has quite a few more features. So what you've got is settings, you've got a program launcher which you can actually change, you've got keyboard so you can call out the input panel, you've got left click and right click, then this is interesting, you've got pixel up, pixel down so you can actually scroll around and then select with the middle button. Then you've also got a joystick which helps manipulate the mouse. Now that joystick also acts as a click. You've got page up, page down, and you've got the uh, settings button, and you've got the, uh, the screen resolution change button. A little known fact about EO is that when you grab the pen, which is located in the bottom right hand corner, you can actually put it straight into the back hole here of the actual tablet and it becomes holder. Samsung itself has built in stand and there's two variations to the stand so that allows you to have just a slight tilt off of the desk and that allows you to have a full uh, you know, 90, uh, 110 degree sort of angle staring back at you. Now the EO, the uh, Samsung, um, as far as internal ports go, um, seems to be the winner in, in this scenario. Um, you've got Ethernet, so for your blue network cable. You've got a compact flash slot, albeit inconvenient for um, most scenarios nowadays because you still can't have CF 3G at the moment. You can't have uh, internet connectivity via that very successfully unless you're using the older or slower GPRS connection. You've got the power on off button, CPU fan. Another winner against the EO is that you've got VGA out on there. So you can actually plug in and monitor. As described before, you've got the AC, there you've got USB. Underneath some little feet there. Here you've got the lock mechanism for the screen, so turn off the touch. Then you've got the uh, on-off button, 
and you've got the uh, audio jack, uh, which is for headphone, and you've got USB, and you've got Firewire. So one little talked fact about touchscreens is the XY coordinates. Now on a 7 inch touchscreen obviously the whole operating system is compressed. So you've got 7 inches to reach your XY coordinates. That means that as opposed to on a bigger touchscreen, the XY coordinates themselves on a 7 inch touchscreen becomes much more minute. Now the other benefit that we had in traditional tablet PCs was that they run a digitizer, active digitizer, Wacom type board within the screen. Now what that meant was that there was an X, Y, Z coordinate. Now here's what I mean about that. With a traditional touchscreen, you could hover with a traditional sorry uh, tablet PC. You could hover the pen, and about an inch off the screen, the cursor would follow you because it was receiving a sing signal off of the board and off of the pen that were knowing about an inch off the screen where you were. We call that the X, Y, Z coordinate because the X, Y is still on the screen but the Z is the one that hovers. Now that becomes quite functional when you're navigating around because you could click on start and then move your cursor to navigate through things and know where the cursor was without having to actually be accurate with your push. On a touch screen you've got to have quite a sense of accuracy in how you go about things. Hence the pen has been supplied with both. Uh, the, the true fact remains however that a lot of the cost reduction in these devices, and that's where they've been a, quite a winning um, machine, has been in the introduction of the touchscreen. So sure the digitizer seemed to work a little better. Um, there wasn't any of these issues where leaning and writing uh, created, created disruption. But um, that's where a lot of the cost was in the traditional tablet PC. So given that the Microsoft Origami project, which is the Ultra Mobile PC project code name, uh, was designed and specified to bring down the cost of traditional tablet PC, they had to get rid of that board. So now we're left with the XY coordinates only of a touchscreen. Now, what does that mean to you? It means that you have to be a little more accurate. Uh, anyone that has fingernails will, uh, or long fingernails I should put it, have, uh, will have an added advantage to using one of these devices. Anyone like me that actually chews their nails will, uh, will not have that advantage and the pen becomes handier. If we take that conversation into consideration, you'll quickly appreciate the input buttons offered in the EO Ultra Mobile PC. While we do have an enter button and we do have a menu button and we do have some navigation buttons on the Samsung, what we lack that is truly essential in becoming a productivity tool, I feel, is the joystick, which is the little cursor navigation button. Now that cursor navigation button means the world to me because as an XY coordinate, uh, I, I, I find it very difficult to get my finger in the right location every single time. And especially when I start getting comfortable with the devices, I start to want to use the palm or the pad of my fingertips rather than the nail. An inverted pinky nail is the most accurate input device apart from the pen. But if you take away the touch screen, it's these left and right click buttons, the joystick and the page up, page down button that makes EO an absolute productivity winner.